all right guys welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another video this is codebreaker gaming bringing you another gameplay video from wolong fallen dynasty okay and in this gameplay video i'm going to be showing you guys my strategy for how to deal with the first boss encounter now there were a couple bosses before this but they were very much mini bosses like this is the first real boss that you'll encounter and um, if you guys watched my first video my first gameplay video you'll see that I was uh, somewhat struggling on this boss it took me quite a few attempts to get to the second phase but now I've played for about another hour maybe an hour and a half and kind of understand how this boss will attack so I've come up with a strategy that you guys can employ if you're having a hard time dealing with Zhang Liang alright so but before we get into that as always you guys are new to the channel I invite you to hit that subscribe button so you can be notified when I upload new gameplay videos and do live broadcasts if you're enjoying the content you're viewing here on the channel I invite you to browse my catalog where you're certain to find other gameplay videos that you'll enjoy and if you're enjoying this boss fight strategy or any gameplay from Wolong Fallen Dynasty go ahead and smash that like button it'll help the channel grow leave a comment below let me know what you think about the game how much you're enjoying it but without any further ado or delay let's get into this boss fight strategy okay first thing you want to do when you jump down and the fight starts you want to hit him with a heavy attack that's triangle your spirit attack lock on to him spirit attack that builds up his posture faster and every time you deflect hit him with a heavy attack Mix him some light attacks to build up your spirit so you can do a heavy attack. You see what I'm doing? See that? Martial arts. Light attack. Heavy attack. Martial arts. Posture broken. Heavy attack. See that? He shouldn't have hit me there. Heavy attack. I need light attacks to build my posture up. I hate that attack. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. You see, that's the. Now, I do want to say this one thing. I know you guys saw how effective what I was doing and how that was working. The one disadvantage of that is you have to be mindful, extremely mindful of how much spirit you have to be able to do your spirit attack. So it's very important not to rely solely on that heavy attack because if you do and you run out of spirit you end up in a situation like that where you're looking to do that heavy attack and you don't have it so I would say maybe two heavy attacks deflect heavy attack heavy attack deflect you want to mix in some light attacks to build your spirit back up now watch this light 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 Heavy. Light, light, light. Heavy. Light, light, light. The flow of chi is changing. Martial arts. Always martial arts when you get a big deflect like that. Heavy. Posture broken. You see that? And just rinse and repeat. Heavy. You're not as weak as you look. Light, light, light. Heavy. Light, light. See that? Posture broken. No. My next attack will be heavy. Even now. Oh, if he 
does something. Heavy attack. Like, 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 posture broken. Now we're in phase two, and this is kind of tough. So I'll start off with a wizardry spell. And then I'll go immediately into... This guy's tough. You guys see that? Foster broken. He did very little damage. Oh no! What? Oh, that was on the money. They bullshitted. Drink. So, the important thing that I want you guys to remember with that first stage of the boss fight, because that's what makes this this entire boss encounter a little tougher, is because if you die on the second phase, you have to repeat phase one. So you it forces you to master phase one, um, which isn't tough, but you know if you if you make a mistake, he's gonna make you pay for it. So let's see. That was my mistake there because <laughs> I'm trying to mix in those light attacks so I can keep my uh, keep my spirit gauge up. But we'll try um, we'll try this first stage one more time just so you guys can see how effective the strategy is. That's the one attack I hate when he does. Drink. That's what you get. All right, we'll 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 attempt we'll attempt it one more time because I didn't I didn't really get into the flow of that fight. It just felt kind of weird, especially when. When certain attacks that he's doing and I'm preparing to deflect them, they're being interrupted by the uh, the support guy, the NPC. Where is he? This guy. We'll try that again. But I want you guys to see what I'm doing is highly effective on this boss. For those of you who are having trouble, I'm, I'm pretty sure there are quite a few of you who are probably halfway through the game by now. <laughs> You'll be begging me to spare you. <laughs> Changing. Be ready for 
see he he interrupted my his attack. that attack boy And that was me being foolish again. <laughs> so we'll we'll try one more time. We'll try one more time because I want to show you guys that just repeating that same strategy, or well, you'll have much more success in finishing phase one off and rather quickly. So we'll do it this last time, and hopefully we can advance. I'll crush you. The vermin you are. The flow of chi is changing. Be ready for anything. You know what, let's do it one more time. <laughs> let's do it one more time. And that's the that's the thing about this game. The combat gets so the mastery of the combat becomes so addictive that you just don't want to stop. But I'm not gonna let this video run too long. I just want you guys to see that this strategy does in fact work. Like the vermin you are. She is changing. Be ready for anything. <laughs> Always martial arts. Always martial arts. We did a lot of damage with that. Stagger broken. I mean, uh. Oh. Right, guys so we're gonna wrap it up on this gameplay video um on this strategy for the first boss fight zhang liang um hopefully you guys were able to see that the method that i employed was rather effective for uh, breaking his posture rather quickly and getting him down to that second stage and uh you know for those of you who are having difficulty with them I just want to suggest that you employ the strategy that you just viewed. Um, for those of you who have already already beaten this boss and are, have a better strategy, you know, you guys can leave a comment below and let me know what and how to get through that second stage because it's very hard to get used to the attacks in the second stage because that one death knocks you all the way back to the first phase. <laughs> And the first phase, while it isn't hard, 
you know it's not exactly easy either so I'm gonna wrap this video up hopefully you guys were able to uh, learn a, uh, an effective strategy for breaking the boss's posture and getting past phase one so this is Code Breaker Gaming we're gonna be signing off but before we do as always we invite you to subscribe to the channel if you're enjoying the content you can browse the catalog I'm sure you'll find other gameplay videos that you'll enjoy you can smash that like button because it helps the channel grow tremendously and reach other viewers leave a comment below let me know what you think let me know if the boss strategy helped you any let me know if you have a better strategy for beating phase one and a strategy for beating phase two of this particular boss and um if I come up with a strategy for beating phase two, I'll upload that also. But this is Code Breaker Gaming. We're going to be signing off. You all enjoy the rest of your day. Peace.